Are you tired of managing multiple databases for your Laravel application? Do you wish there was an easier way to connect to multiple databases without sacrificing performance or security? In this video, we'll show you how to connect your Laravel application to multiple databases using multiple ways. In our database we have two different databases and both have a user's table. First one is called Laravel and the second one is Laravel 2. If we go to our ENV and switch our database name to Laravel 2 and then we try to refresh, we will get the users from the second database. Now let's see how we can connect to the two databases. First in our config folder we have a file called database. Let's go into that file and inside of it there is the MySQL configuration. Let's copy it and change its name and let's call it other. Then we need to change the database name into database other and the username into username other and the password into password other. Now let's go back into our env file and copy the database configuration and edit the connection to other, and make it just like the database file, username other and password other and database other and let's name it Laravel2. Now let's go back into our roots and try what we just did. First we need to use the db method and then specify the table that we want so let's say users table. And then we will chain the get method to it, so let's see what we got. Okay we got the data from the second. Database because we forgot something in our env file, let's go into the env file and make connection other, and then let's retry and refresh the page, and now we got the data from the first database, now how can we access the second database, there is a method called connection that we can use with the db, and inside of it we can specify to which database connection we want to connect so let's say other. Now let's go and refresh the page. And yes we got the data from the second database, now let's see how we can do the same thing but using the user model not using the db method, in the model there is a protected variable called connection, and it is set to the default connection which is mysql so it will always connect to the mysql connection. So to change it let's go to our user model and make a new protected variable called connection, and let's give it a value of other, and now let's go and refresh the page, and we got the data from the second database, just like we wanted, now let's go back and comment the connection variable, and retry, and yes we got the data from the first database, and now for our last way to do this, let's go to our roots and let's use a helper in Laravel called config, inside of it we can specify the database connection that we want. Here we can change the default database, we will use database.default and we will give it a value of other, so now our default database connection is other, and let's go and try it now, we will refresh the page and yes we got the data from the second database, now let's go try to change it to MySQL, and refresh the page, and we will get the data from the first database. These are the three ways to connect to multiple databases in our Laravel application, if you like this video and want more. Laravel content check my channel, and if there is any Laravel topic you want me to cover comment down below, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.